Greetings, my friends. Satan's taking over the world. He's taking over Obama land, the entire planet. And man has turned their backs on God. The only place that God uh, loves unequivocally and will always protect is Israel. The rest of the world is nowadays on its own because of its evil and wickedness. Of uh, Abbas, the so-called leader of the, the so-called Palestinians, has come out today and told the UN that he is following uh, the Nazis' master plan to totally annihilate the Jewish race. And saying this kind of stuff doesn't make any difference because the UN is still saying they're going to protect the Palestinians against Israel and that Israel's the bad guy and that Israel's the ones who are at fault. See, there's no common sense anymore. He, he can say things like this and they're still protected. And, and young people in America are in droves, even Christians. Even people who are older now are siding with Palestine over Israel. And it's ridiculous. God said in Genesis, I will bless those who bless Israel and I will curse those who curse Israel. He meant it then. He means it now. He means it forever. It is just sickening to see just the crazy anti-Semitism, the hatred. But again, the Bible said in the last days, that Israel would be a burdensome stone, that the whole world would come after Israel. And Israel right now, is isolated. She has no friends left in the world, no country <coughs> left in the world that is her friend. There are individual citizens who are still her friends, but the most of them even are turning against Israel. Canada's former Prime Minister Harper was the last true friend of Israel. And when he was defeated by Obama's uh, henchman, election henchman, and uh, the, the, uh, the, the winner, uh, with my tongue firmly in cheek, I say the winner, uh, Trudeau, was placed in there by Obama, that was it. But Israel will never stand alone because God always has her back. He will always protect her. And you need to understand that we are in the last of the last of the last days. Read Matthew 24, read every part of the Bible that talks about the end times. We are there. Your only hope is Jesus Christ. If you've never been saved or you're backslidden, pray the prayer, do the six steps I have in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed any more time in your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day. Christians, your job is to witness and pray for the lost daily. If you're not doing it, do it now. And if you are, great. And look up our different draw nigh. We fly soon. Share this video. Thanks. Bye.